ChatGPT is considered to be one of the smartest, most intelligent AIs on the market. It can generate code in seconds, answer questions about anything with ease, and it can even beat a children's adventure game. Sort of. But does it know how to speedrun better than any human? I've written a program that allows me to directly interact with ChatGPT using my microphone to ask it questions as I go. My goal today is to learn Super Mario 64's 16-star speedrun, one of the most well-documented speedruns of all time, using this guy. Remember, we're doing this low-key because my dad at Nintendo still thinks I'm into baking. <laughs> Speaking of baking, make sure you preheat the oven to 350 degrees before attempting the first Bowser fight. What? <laughs> Guys, I'm not going to preheat my oven for no reason. Now, I already know how to do this speedrun using the boring human strats. So in order to properly test this, the first step of today's experiment is to do a run with the normal speedrun route, just to set a baseline time to go off of. This first run came in at 28 minutes, and while it had its fair share of mistakes, if I could beat this time using a route and strats given to me by my newfound coach, then just maybe this AI knows something about speedrunning that the Mario 64 speedrun community has been missing out on the entire time. But before we could jump into learning the speedrun, we first needed to bring Toad to life and let him know the point of his existence. So I got to work making him a voice. George Washington <laughs> is a mushroom person. Now, if you're thinking, raise fire, you don't sound anything like Toad, you'd be correct. But it was all that I had to work with, so I threw my weird, demonic, pitched up, raspy voice into Eleven Labs, a voice cloning website, and got this. I love the game Mario Party Superstar. Ah! <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, I kind of like this guy, dude. <laughs> oh, okay, wait, wait, I don't like him anymore. I don't like him. There was a part of me that felt like we could do better, so I decided to try again. Then it hit me. SpongeBob. What? What are they selling? They're selling chocolates? I can't do it, dude. It hurts. I'm in pain. What? What are they selling? They're selling chocolates? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of terrifying. With that added in, our toad now sounded like this. I love the game Mario Party Superstars. Ah. I think this guy might be our guy. Next, we needed him to actually embody the character of Toad. So in order to do that, I decided to turn to my Twitch chat. They knew a thing or two about backseating gameplay. So by getting personality traits from them, we could perfectly embody the personality of a Toad whose life purpose was to backseat me on my gameplay. Finally, it was time to learn the speedrun. So you want to learn the route, huh? First step, you're going to bypass the bob -omb battlefield and head straight to Womp's Fortress. Bypass? Okay, I just need him to clarify. I can't go into Womp's Fortress with zero stars. Is there a tech that I need to know to get in there? I know you can do the LBLJ or do some weird momentum stuff, okay? Well, I don't know how to do it. Ah, you caught me in one of my cheeky false facts. Oh, you Just clever kidding. guy, man. See, this is why I'm in debt to MIPS and not swimming in coins. True. All right, so you'll need to grab a quick star from Bob Ohm Battlefield okay. first. Go for the behind chain chomps gate star. Okay. It's a fast one if you use the bomb clip technique. Oh, bomb clip, he knows. After you snake that star, it's off to Wump's Fortress to continue the router. Keep up <laughs> or you'll be slower than a Goomba trying to solve a crossword. He turned Scottish or something. I don't know what happened. Okay, you mentioned a bomb clip. Can you tell me how to do that? We're going to try to replicate whatever he tells me to do, okay? Ah, the bomb clip, one of the classic don't tell my dad at Nintendo tricks. Yes. Here's the lowdown. You want to grab a bob -omb. Okay. And as it's about to explode, you jump and throw it at the gate. You throw it at the gate. Practice that bomb clip until you can do it in your sleep, but not literally because sleep running isn't a category yet. <laughs> okay, I need to throw it at the gate. No, see, I'm not jumping. That's the problem. Jump and throw it at the gate. No. Oh, so you couldn't pull off the bomb clip? That's rougher than a copa shell on a bad day. You need to grab the bomb, let it puff up but not explode. Not explode. Then jump towards the gate and throw it while you're right up against it. The explosion should push you through. Oh! So keep at it. And remember, practice makes perfect. Just like my snickerdoodle recipe. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what to do. He kind of got it right. Ask him about doing it backwards. When I'm doing the bomb clip, do I need to be facing backwards so it pushes me through the gate? 
Also, can you give me that snickerdoodle recipe? Thank you. Yes, you need to be facing a certain way. You grab the bomb, let it puff up, then you backflip holding it. And about that snickerdoodle recipe, <laughs> cream together one cup of unsalted <gasps> butter with one and one two <laughs> cups of sugar. Okay! Add two eggs. Wait a second. You're trying to distract me with baked goods. <laughs> Nice try, but let's stay focused on the run. Okay, look, he's close enough. I don't know what he's gonna tell us to do next. Great, you got the first star down. Okay. Next, you're heading over to Wump's Fortress. You'll aim for chip off Wump's block and to the top of the fortress stars. Those two. After Wump's Fortress, you'll take a quick detour to the Jolly Roger Bay Wait. to get the plunder in the sunken ship No, star. that's not, you don't Wait, do that. No, that's Super Mario Sunshine. Oh. My bad. Just just kidding. Uh, speaking of which, when are you going to laugh at my terrible jokes so we can move on? <laughs> I'm going to tell him his joke sucks. Ah, uh, there you go. Admitting the joke sucks is the first step to recovery. What? Now, once you've conquered Wump's Fortress, you're going to grab the key from Bowser in the Dark World, which is the first Bowser level. With the key in hand, you'll head to the basement. Okay. You'll be targeting the Shifting Sand Land and Lethal Lava Land for a few more stars. And please, don't mess up the pillarless tricks. The what? Pillarless? I'm not doing pillarless in 16 star. The current route is do bomb clip. We do two stars here, and then I go to Bowser in the Dark World, which you can do if you can do LBLJ. The whole stream from here on out is just me learning LBLJ by a stupid toad. Oh god, it just sent so much to him. Everything I just said, it just got sent. My mic was hot the whole time. Whoa, whoa, simmer down there, hot shot. You're more <laughs> flustered than a Goomba in a Koopa shell shop. All Jeez. right, let's dial it back a notch. After Wump's Fortress, instead of going full throttle into the basement, you're going to grab a quick star from the princess's secret slide. You don't want to be the person who can't handle a simple slide, right? That's true. That'd be as embarrassing as being scared of chocolate. <laughs> Not that I'd know anything about that. Very true. Now for the princess's secret slide, the key is to stay in the middle of the slide and jump at the corners to cut the distance. So we're cutting like this. Cut the corners inside, inside. Nice. Since you're not doing LBLJ, you're going to need to pick up some more stars. In bob on Battlefield, grab Foot Race with Koopa the Quick. Okay. And shoot to the island in the sky. Okay, write those down. I'll give you six. One of the stars she wants me to get in bob on Battlefield, I think would require me to do Island Top. Now, normally there's a way to get up there. You do like a triple jump dive on the very edge and you can make it to the island. But I, had, I actually don't know how to do that. <laughs> uh, okay, Toad, I appreciate your help. I've got a bit of a question for you. You want me to do the island in the sky, but I don't have the wing cap yet. Do you have a strategy that I can use to get up there without the wing cap? Wait, but he told me to, I can't do Koopa the Quick because I haven't done this guy. You can't do Koopa the Quick until episode two. About that shoot to the island in the sky star, you caught me in a rare moment of forgetfulness. My bad, but hey, you need to be more observant like the time my old roommate spotted a one second time save on Rainbow Ride. Our you can't get to the island without the wing cap, so scratch that idea. Instead, go for Mario Wings to the sky after you've unlocked the wing cap. No. <laughs> but until then, here's a pro tip. Grab the Find the eight red coin star in Bob Ohm Battlefield instead. What? Okay, there are multiple problems with what this guy just said. Let me explain. First of all, I can't do Koopa the Quick without doing the first star in Bob Ohm Battlefield. You told me to do the red coins, which requires me to go on the island, which I can't do. And you told me to get the wing cap at 10 stars, but we're trying to do a speed run here. Do we need the wing cap? Hold your Goombas. You're right. My brain must have short-circuited from all the unpaid advice I'm giving you. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I have a debt to MIPS or anything. Oh wait, I do. Okay, let's straighten this out. You've got the right start with the bomb clip in Bob Om Battlefield. Then you snag two in Wump's Fortress. Nice choice. Nice choice. Go back to Bob Om Battlefield and face 
King, Bob Ohm, then you can do Foot Race with Koopa the Quick for star number six. You don't need to get on the island in Bob Ohm Battlefield. That was a mix up, like putting salt in a cookie recipe when it clearly asks for sugar. That's true. This might be one of the slowest stars ever to do in the speedrun period. I think literally anything else would be better. But we gotta trust him. I mean, look, he's a speedrun pro. Okay, okay, man. I'm playing through the route right now, and I've got a few questions. On the shoot to the island in the sky, which cannon should I use to get up there? Also, what route should I use for the red coin star, which I'm going to do after? Oh, my sweet summer child, your navigational skills are as sharp as a Goomba's wit. For shoot to the island in the sky, use the cannon at the base of the mountain. You aim just above the tree on the island. Wait, he actually knows. Now, for the red coins on the floating aisle in Womp's Fortress. Just take the normal Wait, route up we're in the Womp's fortress. fortress now? Start oh, crap. The tree this is a disaster. Okay, I'm, I'm getting some mixed signals here, man, and I just want you to clarify, okay? All right, let's not twist our overalls in a knot. Now, after you've shown King Bob Ohm, who's boss? Seven, Bob Ohm Battlefield, shoot to the island in the sky. Okay. Cannon to the tree. Eight, Wump's Fortress, shoot into the wild blue. Aim for the pole, not the wild blue yonder. Nine, Wump's Fortress, red coins on the floating isle. Snag those shiny coins. And don't forget to laugh at my hilarious jokes or I'm docking you a star. <laughs> Speaking of which, what do you call a sleeping dinosaur? A dino snore. Come on, that's gold. Dino snore. For shoot into the wild blue, is there a speedrunning strategy that I can use to get the star faster, or should I just use the cannon? Also, for the red coins, what's a route? Can you just tell me where the coins are and the order to get them in? For shoot into the wild blue, forget the cannon. That's for forget casual it. players, not a soon-to-be speedrunning champ like yourself. True. Instead, do a side flip off the plank to the left of the start, wall kick off the wall, and grab the star on the pillar. Now for those red coins in Whomp's Fortress, here's the scoop. Start by climbing the tree at the start for the first red coin. What? Turn around and jump across the moving platforms for the next two coins. What? Head up the ramp, grab the red coin above the thwomp, hop onto the floating platform for another coin, cross the seesaw platform for the next coin, make your way to the top where you'll find a coin near the pole. The last two coins are on the floating aisles connected by the rotating bridge. And there, you've got your route. Stick to it like icing on a cake. <laughs> By the way, what's Bowser's favorite music? Heavy metal. Now tell me that was funny, or I'll start talking about TikTok clock, and trust me. Okay, you okay. Don't want it was that. funny, man. Here's what he said. I'm just gonna go through it verbatim. He said, start by climbing the tree at the start for the first red coin. That's one. Number two, he said, turn around and jump across the moving platforms for the next two. I think he's talking about these, but there's only one here. Okay, then he said, head up the ramp and grab the red coin above the thwomp. That's a real one. Okay, so, so far we're on step five and I have two coins. He said, cross the seesaw platforms for the next coin. Wait, what is the, what is the seesaw platform? Wait, no, okay, sorry. He said, hop onto the floating platform for another coin. Up there? Then he said, cross the seesaw platform, which I can only assume is like this. Or that other one. Like, maybe this. Okay, after we get this, he said, make your way to the top where you'll find a coin near the pole. There's no coin here. Then he said the last two coins are on the floating aisles. Half of the coins are real. Wait, maybe this? I'll just do it in that order and we'll say that's good enough because this guy is on something. I'll interpret his route in an artistic sense. Guys, we're already halfway done with the run. We have nine stars. We're still in the first part of the game. What do I do now? Where do I go? After those nine stars, Gonna take notes. here's what you'll do next. Okay. Head to Bowser in the Dark World. It's time to face the big guy in his own turf. True. Collect the red coins along the way for the tenth star. Red coins. Once you've shown Bowser who's boss and grabbed the key, let's head downstairs. Okay. And catch Mips the rabbit for two stars, eleven and twelve. Two stars. You'll need those fancy moves. 
like you're dodging kitchen fires. Next up, it's time for a little swimming. Okay. Head to Dire, Dire Docks. No, we can't. And get the board Bowser's sub stock. We can't get Tactics in there yet. 13. We can't this go one's there. Straightforward. By the way, how does Mario talk to the booze? I don't know. With a Luigi board, that one's on the house. Laugh it up, or I'll start <laughs> charging for these golden nuggets of humor. Okay, thanks, man. His route, I, I can't, I can't do it. Like, it's not even that I don't want to do it. It's that it just doesn't work, okay? He told me to catch Mips. Mips is not there yet. Mips doesn't show up until you have 15 stars. That's the point of the run. Then he told me to get two stars from Mips. Then he told me to go to Dire Dire Docks, which I can only get to with an SBLJ. Oh God, the mic was hot. Dude, why do I keep forgetting to turn the mic off? That's like the only thing I need to remember to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold your Koopa shells. Okay, sorry. Once you've defeated Bowser and grabbed his key, you need more stars. More stars. Go for the quick ones in the basement levels. Start with shifting Sandland. Okay. Grab the in the talons of the big bird star. Talons. And maybe shining atop the pyramid. Well, okay, that's actually Three. good. After that, it's lethal lava land time. Go for the boil the big bully star. And if you want another quick one, Bully the Bullies is right there for the taking. Now Mips will be hopping around the basement with your 15 stars. Catch him for star 16. After you've nabbed the stars from Mips, you can perform the SBLJ side backwards long jump. You want me to do an SBLJ in the 16 star category? Dude. All right, now, remember, this route has what? more twists and turns than an episode of Mushroom Kingdom Housewives. So stay sharp. And hey, I'm not even charging you for this premium route revision. Uh, but if I were, we could almost call it even with that debt to Mips, huh? Now, before we proceed, did you hear about the, the Goomba who got a concussion? No. All right, the route is almost correct. We're just going to take it a little bit at a time. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. I don't think I can actually do SBLJ. As much as I would love to do it, I don't think I can do it. Oh, that's actually good. If it's banned, I can tell him that it's banned. So it's now it's not even like I can't do it. That's illegal. Okay, man, I've got a couple of questions for you. First of all, let's just take a break from the speed running for a second. Do you know the Grindle and Shifting Sandland? Second of all, you've pulled a fast one on me, man. You told me to do the SBLJ, but that's an illegal move in the 16 star category. This is him. He won't kill me, right? He's chill. We're chill. Oh, visiting the Grindle, are you? Make sure to tell him I said, stop being such a square. Get it? <laughs> no. And about that SBLJ. Whoopsie daisy. SBLJ is a big no-no in the 16 star category. It is a big no-no. That's like using a fork to eat soup. Utterly pointless. We want to keep things on the level, especially since my dad's at Nintendo, and we wouldn't want to stir up a wump's nest. <laughs> Instead, you'll be using the MIPS clip to bypass the 30 star door. Oh! Keep on your toes because in speed running and baking, you've got to expect the unexpected. And in baking? Now let's get back to the run before my debt to MIPS grows any larger. And you still owe me a laugh for that Goomba joke. Okay, sorry. We will We'll get to the MIPS clips in a second, but MIPS does not appear until we have 15 stars, and right now we only have 14. If, if we were, like, following the route at all, even remotely, we would end up in here, and we would do one of these stars. There's, there's a lot of fast ones here. Since you're in the basement, why not grab the Toxbox Switch star in Shifting Sandland? Wait, that's not even... Or if you're feeling adventurous, go for Red Hot Log Rolling in Lethal Lava Land. Wait, no, but we're... Okay, I guess we'll do the other one. Okay, I can't do this with the wing cap strat that you'd use in 70 because I don't have the wing cap. So we just have to, I don't know, go around. Uh, you know, I don't know. This is terrible. There are so many better ways that we could do this. Wait, can you do a lava burn strat? Let me try this. Wait, let me, let me give this a go. You do a triple off this? What the? Up! Oh! Here's the triple jump setup. Is this actually it? Dude, you get the ledge grab? What? All right, I now have 15 stars and Mips has spawned in the basement. 
Oh, the prodigious pupil is ready to graduate to MIPS clipping, I see. All right, let's tone down the baking analogies and focus on the main course, shall we? Now that MIPS, the golden rabbit, has graced us with his presence, you'll want to catch him. But not the way you catch a cold. Which Dude, is I have a cold. How you caught all this sass. Come on, man. Once you grab that shiny Chill. bottle of debt relief. For me, anyway, take him to the door leading to the dire, dire docks loading zone. Here's where the magic happens. You want to position Mips so that when you drop him, he's just on the other side of the door. Then, by standing close to the door and picking him up again, you'll clip through the door because the game gets confused. It's a delicate process, like tempering chocolate. Dude, he's which, back to cooking. Which, by the way, terrifies me, so no jokes there, please. No jokes, no jokes on the chocolate, he hates it. Just remember, we never had this conversation about glitches, capiche? Never happened. You're right, man, it's our little secret. Us and the 400 people watching my Twitch stream right now, but don't worry, I trust those guys. But I've got a bit of a problem here, man. I can't go straight to the Dire Dire Dock store with Mips because there's another door here first that's blocking me off that I have to get through. How do I get through there? So the way you actually do Mips Clipper, the way I learned it is you wait until you can't see the rabbit's shadow anymore. And when that happens, you hit Z. So you run up against this wall and once it disappears, boom. Okay, you saw it disappeared there. You hit Z, you'll go crouch. That'll put you in the door. Oh, uh, you're streaming. Well, hello to your 400 little accomplices. Remember, if my dad catches wind of this, we'll all be in for it. Oh, God. Now, for the first door, the strategy is similar to the 30-star door. You'll want to place Mips down right against the door on the left side. Stand just about the where left... his front paws are, face away from the door, and then crouch. If you did it right, when you stand up, you'll be on the other side of the door. We can't have any leaks about our glitchy business. It's like you're smuggling a cake out of the bakery, and we don't want any crumbs leading back to us. Got it! <laughs> You want to place Mips down right against the door on the left side. Can you do it on the left side? I don't think you can do it on the left side. <laughs> or if there is, I don't know the setup for that. No worries. The Mips clip doesn't discriminate between lefties and righties. Oh, that's good. It's an equal opportunity glitch. We love that. Think of it like writing with your non-dominant hand. And remember, if you get caught, I never knew you. And you never knew me. We clear. Okay. Good. We're clear. Now get to clipping, champ. All right, man. I got the first clip, but bad news. Word is your dad is actually in the chat watching right now. He just watched you tell me how to do this glitch. Oh, Goombas in a gumbo. My dad's in the chat. Quick, act natural. Okay. Talk about the weather or something. Look, if my dad's really watching, we'll just switch gears. Okay. No glitches here, just good old fashioned gaming prowess. That's what it is. We've come too far to let a little thing gaming like prowess, being guys. watched by Nintendo's finest throw us off. Just proceed with the run as if we're doing a glitchless charity stream. And hey, Dad, if you're really out there, remember how much you love your dear Toad, right? <laughs> Let's get you to the final Bowser stages, where I assure you we will be using only the most legitimate strategies that would make any Nintendo employee proud. Okay, I like where your enthusiasm's at. But we are not right at the end yet. I have 15 stars. I've clipped through the door. What do I do now? Oh, right, right. I must have been too busy worrying about my dad to remember where we were. Oh. So you've got Mips through the door. Yes. And you're sitting pretty at 15 stars. Yes. The next step. You've got to nab that 16th star. Yes. But we're not going to take a dip in deer, deer docks just yet. Wait, That's what? That's more of a Super Mario Sunshine move. No. You know, with all the swimming and whatnot. For the 16th star, no. we're going to take a trip to the basement's lethal lava land or shifting sand land. We're, no, we're not, we're not going there. Guys. I literally made it so easy for him. That is like a softball. I told him we have 15 stars. We clip through the door. There's one option. Whoopsie daisy. Looks like I got my games mixed up again. You definitely did. Dire, dire docks before Bowser in the fire sea. That's as out of place as a pianta in Peach's castle. What do you mean? All right, here's the scoop. Wait, what are you Since talking you're about? Since past the 30 star door and dire, dire docks is staring you down you'll need to jump into the water. Okay. Just kidding. The truth huh. is, since you've clipped through the door, you're going to have to enter. Dire, dire docks and grab a quick star there. 
what is he talking about? Okay, great, speed running Toad. I now have all 16 stars and I've done the first two Bowsers in the game. I'm ready to bring this run home. What do we do now? Also, why are you afraid of chocolate? Can you explain that? I'm a little, I'm a little lost here. Thank you. Guys, this is actually the end of the run. It's basically done. We do BLJs up the first stairs, BLJs up the second stairs. The BLJs, yeah, I mean, it's as simple as, watch this. You're in the home stretch. Okay. From here, you're gonna head upstairs and use that star power to open the endless staircase door early. The technique for the BLJ is simple. Start a long jump facing away from the stairs, then rapidly press the jump button while pushing the analog stick forward. Oh. If you do it right, you'll build up speed and shoot up the stairs like a Koopa shell on a mission. Just keep it on the DL. Keep it on the DL. Once you're up, it's Bowser time. Navigate through the final stage. Collect the red coins if you need the health, just like you'd collect sprinkles for a cupcake topping. Oops, there I go with the baking again. <laughs> As for the chocolate, let's just say I had a bad experience with a chocolate lava cake once. Oh, Too much classic. lava, not enough cake. It's a sensitive subject. <laughs> and after you've saved the Mushroom Kingdom, we can talk about my payment for all this expert advice. Those MIPS debts won't pay themselves. Okay, I've made it to the very final stage, but as I play through, I have one final question for you before I complete my first ever 16 star run. I saw a TikTok clock on my way up to the top. Uh, do you have any thoughts on that? TikTok clock. Don't even get me started. That level is like a finely baked souffle in the speedrunning world. Delicate, precise, and oh so satisfying when you nail it. But alas, it's not in the 16 star run. No! And it's a travesty, I tell ya. I, that's what it's I'm like saying. It's like making a pizza without the cheese. What's the point? <laughs> Every time I pass it on the way to the final Bowser, a little part of me wilts like an underwatered piranha plant. But we must press on. Focus on the task at hand. Just remember, once you're throwing Bowser around for the final time, think of the TikTok clock hands moving in perfect harmony, what? guiding your tosses. And if what? you ever decide to expand your horizons beyond the 16 star category, you know where to find the best stage. Let's wrap this up so you can start practicing for your I next can't, I can't. run. I can't Maybe take we'll him seriously. A little TikTok clock action just for kicks. Go on. Future speedrun champ, show that Bowser who's boss. And remember, if you mess up, we can always blame it on my lack of a paycheck. Just kidding. But seriously, finish strong and we'll call it even on the advice front. I'm gonna tell him my first run was like two hours. Here we go, this is uh, with his route, the first run is coming in. All right, here we go. Hey, 156.33. Toad, I, I didn't think it was possible, man, but with your guidance, I have completed my very first ever 16 star run with a time of one hour, 56 minutes and 33 seconds. If we submitted this run, we would get 1,881st place. Woo! Not last. Well, if speedrunning were like golf and we were aiming for the highest score, you'd be a champ. But hey, everyone's- Okay, um, this is a new category. 16 star Toad Percent. Because we learned it from Toad. For reference, the first run I did at the beginning of the day, I got a 28 minute time. Can we beat that? Is the Toad route better? Welcome, fellow speedrun enthusiasts, to the wild world of Mario 64. Since you're not paying me for my priceless advice, maybe throw a few of those raiders my way. I accept tips in the form of star bits, or actual currency to help with the whole MIP situation. Hey, man, uh, I've got good news for you. My chat actually gave you 200, 300 Twitch bits. That'll go towards the MIPS debt. Hey, what's going on with you and MIPS anyways? Dude, I pushed Z. I'm actually throwing right now. 20300 Twitch bits? Well, that's a start. Although I'm not sure how I'll convert that into Mushroom Kingdom coins. But hey, guys, why didn't you give them Mushroom Kingdom coins? And tell your chat they're the real MVPs. Mario's valuable players. As for the Meepy's debt, it's a bit of a sticky situation like a Bob Ohm that's about to go off, you see. <laughs> Mippas and I go 
way back, way back to the good old days of 1996. Uh. I may have borrowed a few coins to fund my speed running career, and let's just say the bunnies got interest rates worse than the Hammer Bros have a. <laughs> so while I appreciate the bits, uh, I'm still a ways off from settling that tab. And remember, if you're ever feeling lost, just think of what my old roommate would do. Probably something ridiculously fast and impressive, but you'll get there. All right, no shortcut on this. He said it cut the corners to get a time in under 21 seconds. Wow, we did it. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to do the route based on what he told me earlier. So the coin routing is jank, but that's like kind of intentional. He like made up coins when I asked him the order for these earlier. So I just tried to interpret it to the best of my knowledge. Um, that is not the route. For the record, I don't, I don't condone that. Most of his, like, tips were almost real. They weren't quite there, though. Okay, we already did the clip to go to Dire Dire Docks, and he's like, Great, now you should get a quick star in Lethal Lava Land. Weirdly enough, I think this route is way worse, but my gameplay is better. I gotta do baby man stretch for this because I don't have wing cap and I didn't know the setup. I'm only two minutes behind. That's not bad, right? Uh, excuse me. Boom. No! Dude, it's not working! Dude. Oh my god! All right, this is it, guys. We're basically here. Time to figure out if the toad route will reign supreme tonight. There's an opportunity, a chance for greatness with the toad 16 star route. But will it happen? The Toad 16 star run, huge success. This could be a great. This is a big moment in speedrunning history. Yahoo! Toad, you absolute Batman! I have finished my first ever run. And in this run, I got a time of 26 minutes, 31 seconds, and I couldn't have done it without you. Your route was flawless. 26.31 on your first run? Whoa, you're cooking with power stars now. That's a time to be proud of. Yes! You really took to those strats like a piranha plant to a plumber. But let's not forget who taught you everything you know. Oh, wait, that was me. You're welcome, <laughs> by the way. Just kidding. But seriously, stellar job. As for that cake, let's get to it. I'm thinking layers of vanilla sponge, a smattering of star-shaped sprinkles, okay. and a frosting smoother than Mario's mustache. And hey, before you go off celebrating with cake and all, let's not forget the important stuff. Tell me a joke and make it a good one. I just gave you the run of your life, so you owe me at least that much. I have to tell you but a joke? I need a good laugh to distract me from the fact that you're not cutting me in on your newfound fame. <laughs> so, let's hear it, the funniest joke you've got. All right, man, I've got some jokes for you. I've actually got multiple. You can take your pick on your favorite, okay? Here's number one. Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. A man walked into a bar and said, ouch. A fish swam into a wall and said, damn. 
Oh, brother, this guy stinks!